Okay, so let's make this video that I have here and drag into shortcut into the timeline. Let's make that shake slowly. As you probably already know by my previous video about shaking and shortcut, if we go uh, into filters over here while this is selected and go to video and uh, search for shake, wait, no, not shake, sorry, size and position. Pick size and position and then pick the preset, shake one second, we're gonna go for scaled. And if we look at this, the first second is cool, but then everything is static. Okay, to fix that, at the bottom there's keyframes. If you don't see that, go to view and enable keyframes. And then over here, we have a separate keyframe. So zoom in until these dots are kind of separate. And now it kind of depends on how you want to do this and how long your clip is. But you can click and drag these to get a slow shake you can just click and drag these and you have to do it one by one this is quite annoying you have to do it about 20 times unfortunately the thing is uh, there is no scaling of keyframes in shortcut but this is actually a very advanced feature after effects has it premiere does not have it all of video editor does not have it i actually didn't check kdn live blender has it let me show you blender in blender i mean Everything's kind of funky in Blender, but if you have this slow shake, cool, 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 you can also make it quicker by scaling it all down. But Blender is a whole different animal. So let's finish this. And oh no, I, I, I did too much. So let's move them back. And the thing is, if you double click them, you, they will be deleted. So this is quite a risky uh, thing you're trying to do here. So let's enjoy. Yeah, we have a slow... Oh kind of abrupt so we can fix that the abruptness let me show you this one Boop, that one was super abrupt Boop, and immediately back we fix this by right clicking and keyframe type selecting and smooth selecting so now wait what well it was a little bit better can we select multiple we cannot even multi-select keyframes maybe one day so we're gonna have to actually do this one by one hopefully it's worth it in the end for good measure, also the first one. Right click, keyframe, smooth. Let's take a look. Please don't crash. Guess we're gonna import the source again. And go back to project and click on this. Okay, so now the lines are gone. So now... Ah, yes, yes, this is much better. Uh, it is kind of weird, but maybe this is the effect you would like to have. Oh, I'm afraid we cannot duplicate keyframes either. At least that's something you can do in, in most video editors. Anyways, hope this helps nonetheless. Until next time, ciao!